God bless you this morning. I'm so excited to be with you this morning at Irwin Church of God, and I welcome you to the In the Middle Sunday School class. Today is Sunday, God's Day, and we get to speak of His Word today. And I want to talk to you this morning about the secret place. In the world, there is trouble. In the world, there is sickness. And these things we cannot deny. These are things that are real, that we're facing. And in these days, because of the uncertainty, and because we don't know how it's going to work, we don't know how it's going to end, we don't know from day to day if the laws will change, if we'll be able to congregate again, if we have to stay home, if we're going to have jobs, all these questions are real questions, and they are real situations that we may face. But what I can promise you today is we have an answer. Hallelujah, we have a source. We have a place we can go in the storms of life that will bring us truth, comfort, peace, joy, and love, and protection. And I want to talk to you this morning about the secret place that we have in God. I ask you, if you have your Bibles handy, let's go to Psalm 91. And I want to start here, and I want to read it to you today from the Passion Translation. It goes like this. When you, this is you and I, sit enthroned under the shadow of Shaddai, you are hidden, get that, you are hidden in the strength of God Most High. The God of everything has hidden you in his strength. You and I, our faith can be tested. Our strength can be tested. Like soldiers on a battlefield, their strength, their ability, their training is tested. But until we are tested, we don't know how strong we are. Amen. We don't know where our faith truly lies until we're in that place. But God tells us here in his word that we are hidden in his strength. He is the hope that holds me and the stronghold that shelters me. It is he that protects us. It is he that we can go in and hide. A stronghold is like a walled city. It's a place that is protected. It is a place where you can find protection. You can find means of food. You can find sustenance. And in God, in that stronghold, we have everything we need. We can run to him and know we have a place of protection. He said, it's the only God for me and my great confidence. This world would have you believe in our government and in the WHO, the World Health Organization. This world would have you believe and trust in only medicine. These things are given to us absolutely for our benefit and for our good and for our health. However, there is an ultimate truth. There is an ultimate healer. And that is our God. And it is his word and he in whom we trust. It is in he that is our great confidence as his people. Because when we put our faith and our trust in him, he will never let us down. He will never forsake us. It says in verse 3 that he will rescue from every hidden trap of the enemy. And he will protect you from false accusation and any deadly curse. Brothers and sisters, I'm going to say to you this morning, he's your rescue. If you are looking for a place to go and you don't have an answer, go to him. If you feel like this thing that's going around this world is overtaking your faith, go to the Lord. Lord, I ask you, God, right now, that any person that is watching this, God, that has a fear, that has a sense of panic, God, about what's going on in this world, I pray in Jesus' name that they will cast that down, repent of it, and look to you, knowing that you, God, are the one that will reveal all hidden traps of the enemy. Any tactic of Satan that will come against them, God, to hinder them. In Jesus' name, we cast it down and we will conquer it through you. 
He said he will protect us from false accusation and any deadly curse. His massive arms are wrapped around you, protecting you. As a child, when you have things that scare you or you go through things in your life that is uncertain, you want to run into your dad's arms and you did nightmares, things that happened in your life, you would run to your dad's arms because those were big arms. Those were safe places. And if you had a mother and you didn't have a father, because she was your adult, you would run to her and you would look to her for shield and protection. But God's arms are massive. They can wrap around all of us, protecting us. You can run under his covering of majesty and hide. His arms of faithfulness are a shield keeping you from harm. Now we have a choice here. We can believe God's word or we can look to our circumstances that are finite. They are going to end. They are going to pass. But God's word says he will hide us. He will cover us. Amen. You will never worry about an attack of demonic forces at night nor have to fear a spirit of darkness coming against you. Don't fear a thing. Don't fear a thing this morning. Not anything. Trust God. You can trust Him. Whether by night or by day, demonic danger will not trouble you, nor will the powers of evil launched against you. Even in a time of disaster, with thousands and thousands being killed, you will remain unscathed and unharmed. You will be a spectator as the wicked perish in judgment, for they will be paid back for what they have done. And here is the key verse today. When we live our lives within the shadow of God Most High, our secret hiding place, we will always be shielded from harm. Praise God. What is the secret place this morning? The secret place is that place where you go. It's not always a physical location, whether it's a closet, your car, your bathroom, your bed, your kitchen. The secret place is the place where you get along with God. You minister to God in worship. You surrender yourself to his lordship. You say, God, this is coming against me. And I might ask you why, God, but I'm going to turn that question into a statement and say, even though, even though I'm going through this storm of life, I'm going to trust you. I'm going to put my faith in you. And in that secret place, he can talk to you. He can reveal his word to you. He can reveal the plans of the enemy. Oh, yes, he can reveal the plans of the enemy to you so that you can do battle so that you do not have to stumble and you don't have to fall. You can walk in victory today. You can walk with your head held high knowing that your God is your shelter. Your God is your protection. How then could evil prevail against us or disease infect us? God sends angels with special orders to protect you wherever you go defending you from all harm. That is a promise for us today. With this coronavirus going around, it's an unseen enemy. You cannot see it. But there is nothing unseen in the eyes of God. There is nothing that he does not see, that he does not know. And he can protect you this day. He can protect you every day because his word says it. If you walk into a trap, they will be there for you and keep you from stumbling. You'll even walk unharmed among the fiercest powers of darkness, trampling every one of them beneath your feet. For here is what the Lord has spoken to me. Now this is where commitment comes. This is where the relationship comes, that secret place where no one else is around. When you are naked before the Lord and you say, God, I'm afraid. God knows it. God, I'm disappointed. I'm concerned about my job. I'm concerned about my finances or the health of my family that lives miles away. I'm concerned about my church family. But this is what he says. Because you have delighted in me as my great lover, I will greatly protect you. 
I will set you in a high place, safe and secure before my face. I will answer your cry for help every time you pray. And you will find and feel my presence, even in your time of pressure and trouble. I will be your glorious hero and give you a feast. You will be satisfied with a full life and with all that I do for you. For you will enjoy the fullness of my salvation. Wow. God goes before you. He will honor his word to us today. I want you to look to God in this circumstance and in this situation today. I don't want you to allow fear to come into your life and take root. God knows we're going to face these things. God knows that we are going to go through trials and temptations. But his word is sure. His word is not a lie. And if we will stay in that secret place and honor him and obey him and believe this word above everything we see, above everything that we experience, he will be faithful. I want to go to Psalm 1 now. Verse 1. What delight comes to those who follow God's ways? They won't walk in step with the wicked, nor share the sinner's way, nor be found sitting in the scorner's seat. Their pleasure and passion is remaining true to the word of I am, meditating day and night in his true revelation of light. They, that's us, will be standing firm like a flourishing tree planted by God's design, deeply rooted by the brooks of bliss bearing fruit in every season of their lives. They are never dry, never fainting, ever blessed, and ever prosperous. Thank you, God. Thank you, God, for your word today. Those that delight in God's words and in his way and to obey his will for our lives, there are things that we just are not going to do. We're not going to follow the wicked. We're not going to do what the unbelievers do. Because honestly, they have no hope. Outside God, they have no hope. But we have a hope. And it says that our pleasure and our passion should be to, to trust God, to obey his word, to find our solace in that, to find our hope in his word. And we're going to meditate on it day and night. So when fear comes knocking and fear wants to get us to run and hide and doubt God's word, that's when that Holy Spirit that lives within you will say, no, that's not my will for you. That's not where I want you to live. I want you to live in a place where when things come in your life, you're not moved and you're not shaken. When the waters try to overtake you, you will not be moved. Why? Because you've got roots firmly planted. Your foundation is sure. The word is true. And there is no God like our God. There is nothing that we cannot accomplish in Christ. Philippians 4.13 says, I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. All things. I can get through this COVID-19. I can get through any financial situation that, that might be coming. I can get through any situation where there might be family that is lost. I'm going to continue to pray for them. I'm going to continue to believe that they're going to come to the Lord. He said, and they will bear fruit in every season of their lives. Even in quarantine, if we are quarantined to our homes like other states are, you can still bear fruit there. How is that possible? You have the word. You have the secret place that you can go to. You can say, Lord, I'm here. I'm alone. I'm quiet. Show me your will for me. Show me your word, God. If there's anything in me, God, that is not pleasing to you, reveal that to me so that I can ask for forgiveness and move on in you. We can be the biggest witnesses to our family even in these times. In these times where they're upset, especially if we have a home of unbelievers. We can be the light. We can be the witness that we need to be to them. Because God is a sure foundation. His word is true. And in that secret place, God can come and we can sense his presence as it envelops us and reassures us that he has never left us and he will never forsake us.
And lastly, I want to speak to you from Psalm 93, 1. And this is wonderful. This is a word of encouragement to us. And again, this is the Passion Translation. It says, look, Yahweh now reigns as king. He reigns right now as king. He is our soon coming king, but he's eternal king. He has covered himself with majesty and strength, wearing them as his splendor garments. Regal power surrounds him as he sits securely on his throne. Hey guys, nothing is going to knock God off his throne. He's not having to resort to a plan B. He is always in control. It says he is in charge of it all, the entire world. And he knows what he's doing. Praise God. We don't have to worry. No matter what Washington dictates. No matter what Raleigh dictates. No matter what dictates by our employees, our employers, our jobs, our factories, our infrastructure. No matter what the world schemes dictates. God is forever on his throne. There is nothing that's going to knock him off his throne this morning or any day. And we have a day coming where we're going to finally see him as he is. And when he comes, what a glorious day that's going to be. We're going to come back with him, hallelujah, on horses dressed in white as he comes and he sets up his kingdom. What a wonderful hope we have this morning. And I encourage each of you to remain firm in your faith. Don't allow this world and this world systems, this virus that's going around, shake your faith. Just like we talked about a few weeks ago in our Sunday school class. It's like a military term. Roman soldiers had spikes on the bottom of their sandals. Sort of like this. They had shields and they had swords and they would plant their feet. Why? Because when their enemies attack, it will be harder to knock them left and right. Because when their shields were attacked, it would be harder again to knock them left or right for them to lose their footing. Brothers and sisters, there is no way, no way with God's help that we have to be moved in this time. No way. We can choose to be firmly rooted and not moved because we serve a living God. We serve the victorious warrior, the great King of kings and Lord of lords. He is our everything and it's he that we can trust. But how do we stay safe? Again, it's the secret place. If you don't have a secret place, I encourage you now while you're at home and you have things I know that you have to do and I have to do at home, we still may be able to go to work for some time or they might shut it down. But purpose to set aside time each and every day if you don't already to get into that secret place and spend time with your father because your father wants to encourage you. He does not want you to fear. He wants you to have peace that passes all understanding. He wants your foundation sure and he wants you unmovable because he is an unchangeable, almighty, the most high God and there is nothing impossible with him and everything in him is yea and amen. Amen. God bless you this morning. I encourage you to stay focused. Keep your eyes on the Lord. Don't be moved. Don't look left and don't look right. Just like God told Joshua when he took over after Moses had passed away. He said, be strong and very courageous for I will go with you wherever you go. I will never leave you and I will never forsake you. I'm with you. And so when we are going out this week, I pray that you will allow God to use you to minister in your home. And in the public, if you get out, and I pray that as we come back together, that we'll have a fresh new understanding of the liberties and freedoms that we have in this country. And we will glorify God even more 
and will have a newer, deeper appreciation for just who God is and the truth of his word and his love that never ends. In Jesus' name, Lord, this morning, God, I pray that if there's anyone watching today, God, that has a need in their home, God, or in their job, Lord, I pray that you'll meet that need. Lord, anyone that's recovered from surgery today, God, I pray, God, you'll minister to their bodies. Lord, to anybody that is watching that needs to be saved, Father, God, I pray in Jesus' name that your spirit will minister to them where they are, God. Lord, that they will come to you, God, and fall at your feet, God, and acknowledge, God, that they need a Savior and receive love and grace and mercy that is never-ending. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you today.